In this video, I want to show you how you can convert your private label rights articles into videos. Now, we're going to need a couple of tools for this to make it super simple. One, well, you're going to need your articles, and I've arbitrarily chosen this article out of the bazillions that I've got hanging around on my hard drives collecting the old virtual dust. We're also going to need Camtasia Studio, we're going to need PowerPoint, and you're going to need a text editor that will allow for multi-line search and replace. And my text editor of choice for this is called Edit Plus. And you can get a 30-day or 60-day free trial. It's kind of like a freeware deal. And then to continue using it after that, you just fork over 30 or 40 bucks, and it's well worth it too. But to get all the details on the software, just go to EditPlus.com and check it out for yourself. But that's the tools we're going to need. So first and foremost, I want to select our entire document and then copy it. Now another thing too, I'm going to do later on in the process, but at some point before you render your video, you're going to make sure your T's are crossed, your I's are dotted, you know, check for spelling and punctuation, all that kind of stuff. But I'm going to do that at a later point in this process, whenever I get to the PowerPoint slides. So I've got this copied into my clipboard. I want to open up our Edit Plus software. I want to appear to New Normal Text and paste from our clipboard into here. Let's kind of clean this up a little bit. Now we also want to have our title at both the beginning and the end of our document. Now for the magic part. What we want to do now is have every single sentence on its own line. And how we do that, we come on up here to Search, come to Replace and left click on that. Then you come on down here to More and here in the find what box we want to hit our period button and in the replace with box hit the period button again but follow that with the enter button so we come on down to the next line then click on replace all bada bing bada boom we're done close this out I want to save our text document and of course an important part of this process is you want to remember where you save it to so we come on up here to save as navigate to where you want to save this and I'm going to put it in a, a folder I've amply called articles to video in my working projects folder and I've named it bad credit car loans because well that's the name of the article and I've already done that but I'm going to overwrite it just for the sake of the process here now then we're done with this we're done with this and now we want to open up our PowerPoint software and want to bring that text document into PowerPoint. And a little trick here, but it's not that big of a deal. We come up here to File and come on down here to Open. And we want to navigate to the location where our article was saved and it's not showing it. That's because it's not looking for text right now. We do that by com coming down here to All PowerPoint Presentations, hit the drop down arrow, come on down here to All Outlines, and there we are. Double click on that, brings all of those sentences, those one lines, into an individual slide. Now that looks kind of dorky. But what we want to do is have this centered, and we do that by changing our slide setup. So we want to first come on over here to select all of our slides. We do that by selecting the top one, hold the control key down on your keyboard, and hit the letter A as an apple. That selects all the slides. Now we come on up here to view and we want to hit the slide master. Now then to pretty it up, and this is just personal preference for me, I get rid of the footer because nothing's going to go in there. And then I'm going to add a look, a background. And this is not mandatory, but this is just how I roll. So I'm going to choose this one here because, well, I like the way it looks. Now then we come on back over here to close out our master view. And again, we want to select all of our slides. So I select the top one, control key down, holding that, and hit the letter A as an apple. And I come on up here to layout. And the first one is the one I want, the title slides. There we go. Now we're set and ready. Now at this point is where I go through and check for the spelling, the punctuation, make sure that there's no blank slides and that everything looks proper because basically at this point we're ready to start recording. So before we record we just want to make sure everything's pretty. Now I believe in this one here I came across a blank slide that I want to get rid of. All right here we go. And select it, delete, we're good to go. Yep, okay. So now remember we've got the title at the end as well as the very beginning. 
And that's just for the sake of looking pretty. So now I'm ready to go. Now at this point, we want to go ahead and for me anyway, I would save my work, save this PPT or the PowerPoint slide. And let's go ahead and do that now. Click on save, it'll ask me the name. Yeah, that looks good. And I would probably give it a different name, but for the sake of speeding things along here, that'll work for me. Now what you do is you come on up here to add-ins. And whenever you click on the record button, I've got dual monitors, but that just makes life a lot easier for me. But whenever I click on the record button, it's going to pop open the slides to be recorded. And I simply just read from the slides as I click the mouse button to advance to the next slide. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and go through the process of recording this video. And then on the other end of this recording, I'm going to show you the end result. So I'll see you on the other side. And there you have it. Here is a produced video from my article. Let's click on play. You see, that's basically it. That's a nice looking little video. Now, my hope is that this video tutorial will allow you to give new life to the articles you have collecting virtual dust on your hard drive or hard drives. You can take this process further by adding background music, you know, if that's your thing. You also now have an additional revenue stream by adding these videos to your existing marketing process. I hope you've learned from and enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.